This is Matt from CleverLeverage.com, and I'm going to be providing you with a tutorial today to show you how to start up a blog in less than 20 minutes for less than 20 bucks. Uh, some people want to start a blog for personal reasons, other people want to use it for business. Um, even some people don't know that you can use a blog for a personal business website. The options are pretty much endless, and today we're going to cover how to start a blog with WordPress. Uh, I am going to make a resource for you guys. If you go to CleverLeverage.com, uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the resources tab and, or the how to section and go to how to start a blog. You'll pull up a page that will look something like this and then within six easy steps we'll be able to start your blog. I've got a couple tips for you, a couple places where you can get hosting for cheap, less than five bucks a month. And then you can also get your domain names for free. And the main benefit to getting a free domain name from the hosting company is you won't have to register your domain name, say, at GoDaddy, and then learn how to connect it to another web host, say, Liquid Web or HostGator or something like that. So for this tutorial, we're going to use Bluehost. And hopefully you have some sort of idea on what you want to start your blog on. If you do and you already know your domain name, just go ahead and click on the big blue thing that says get your domain for free and save $10. That will automatically take you to the right um, URL. Just click on Get Started Now. If you know what your domain name is going to be, like I have a bunch of these picked out for uh, case studies here for CleverLeverage.com. So for this one, I'm going to use the starter plan. Unless you have multiple websites or something like that, you really don't need these more expensive options. The 349 option is, is fine. So go ahead and select that. And then for your new domain name, mine is going to be startablogin20.com, which is basically the tutorial website, and it's going to be how to start a blog in 20 minutes. So we're going to use that. Next, it's going to be my name. I might go back and edit some of this out because this is my actual <laughs> information. I am doing this for real, unlike some of the fake tutorials that you see out there. Um, and this is totally up to you. They give you they give you a little bit of a price break um, if you want to register for multiple months. For my purposes, I'm just going to do it on a month to month basis. I don't really care about saving a dollar. But if you're going to keep your blog around for a long time, it is kind of nice to save a bunch of money and do like 36 months or something like that. I don't worry about private registration because a lot of my information is already on the web. Um, if you click on, uh, I'm sorry, if you click on this, it'll show you what the difference is for who is privacy. If someone were to look up your domain name and use your house address instead of like the UPS box uh, or you know, like a P.O. box or something like that. Someone can see where you live. So if you're concerned about that, go ahead and click this box here. You don't need any of this other stuff. I'll show you how to back up with WordPress um, for free. You don't need search engine jumpstart. I think it's kind of junk. Uh, site lock security, I don't think is a big deal unless somebody has a really high value domain. Google Apps, you don't need. So we're going to move right into the credit card. And I will definitely be editing, editing this uh, before I upload because I want to take out my card information. Click Confirm and click Submit. And we'll just wait for that to go through. Congratulations. We don't want these extra offers. Just click No Thanks. And from time to time, they will update this page. Um, before you can log into your account, you need to create a password. We will do that. My password is just going to be clever1 for the purposes of this tutorial. I will have to change it anyway. Uh, there's no way for me to completely blur that out. Um, oh, come on now. All right. Generate password. Just refresh the page. I wanted to show you what the welcome email looks like. Let's take a look. Welcome to Bluehost. 
get started, account login. So what you'll want to do is, is it has your information down here. You'll have your username and then your password if you want to change it. You'll need to know what the password is that you selected during the account setup. All right, so back to the, the setup page. What you'll want to do is you'll see a lot of options here if you want to set up an email account and stuff like that. But the first thing we're going to focus on is um, getting your blog set up. So we're going to want to go to Website Builders and then just click Install WordPress. And that'll open the one-click installer. As soon as that loads, we'll be off and running. This is fairly simple. Pretty much anybody can do this. Uh, we're going to click Install. And then this should be the domain name that you purchased. You don't need to put anything in the directory unless you want it to be like forward slash, unless you want it to be like starting a blog forward slash blog. Uh, you really want it on the root domain in my opinion, so I'm going to go with check domain. It's checking to make sure everything is set up. And the nice thing about using Bluehost to register your dom domain name um, is you don't have to connect any of your name servers or anything like that to the hosting account. So here, this is going to be the site title of your blog. So we're going to want to go with uh, start a blog in 20. So if this was like Clara's fashion tips or something like that, you would want to put that in here. The account username, you want to do something similar to what you want the admin um, ID to be. So I want mine to be start a blog in 20. And then this will be the admin password. You want to automatically create a database. Click install now. And this will take a few minutes. You don't need any of this stuff. Um, some of it might be a good deal, but if you're just getting started, um, this isn't really necessary. So, while we wait for this to finish, it's going to offer you a bunch of upsells and WordPress themes and everything else. There's other places that you can get uh, WordPress themes. Um, in my opinion, it's a little bit too fresh. You want to, on the orange bar here, you want to click on uh, Get Credentials. And you don't need any of this stuff. Um, new Credentials. Click on View, scroll down, Username, Password. This is what we want. You'll want to copy this, and you'll want to remember your username here. And then just click on Admin URL. And it'll automatically open it for you. And you'll paste your password. Obviously, I'm going to change these uh, by the time I publish this tutorial. Uh, but you won't have to worry about that. Just save them. And if you use something like LastPass, it will remember them for you. <clears throat> That's what I personally use to remember all my passwords. Uh, I use Firefox's browser. It's easy to download. So we'll save site and do auto login. And again, that's LastPass if you want that. Just go to lastpass.com and you'll be able to get it. Uh, exit out of here. The first thing that we're going to do, I don't like all these pop-ups and everything else, and I don't like to constantly be bombarded with upsells and stuff. So this is your back end. Your blog is actually live. It only takes about five minutes or so to do that. So your blog is live. It's got a default theme. It looks like crap, but that can be changed in about 30 seconds. So this is your back end to the front end site. The thing that I don't like is all these pop-ups and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deactivate every single plugin that comes uh, by default. Uh, these are not these are not uh, default WordPress plugins per se. It's a default configuration provided by Bluehost, and I'm just going to delete everything. And what that will do is get rid of any pop-ups in the back end, uh, and we won't have to deal with that anymore. As you can see, nothing has changed. Everything looks fine. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to users. There's a there's me. <laughs> um, there's another thing that I don't like, and this is the toolbar. So when you're viewing your site for the first time, you see this quick toolbar at the top. When I look at the front end of a site, I want to see what it actually looks like uh, to the public. I don't want if the public is not logged into the site, they won't see this bar up top. So I want to get rid of that. So we'll deselect that. And then the reason why we selected a different username in the beginning for the setup of the blog when they installed WordPress is because it will display this name publicly. So if you would use something like Matt at Clever Leverage, you'd have to go in here and change this. So I already knew that up front, so I wanted to get rid of that. So we'll update profile after we untick that uh, 
toolbar box. We'll go back to the home page and refresh. And you see now it's gone. This is what the site actually looks like. The next thing we're going to do is go to Appearance and Themes. And we're going to click Add New. And we're just going to go to Popular. And we will scroll down and find something that we like. I like Pinboard, Details and Preview. So this, if we select this post, or this theme, it will automatically change the look and feel of our blog as soon as we click Install and Activate. So we're going to activate that theme. Now we go back to the home page, click Refresh, and bam, we have a classy looking blog with a wooden background. This is our first post. These are some widgets and stuff. Let's go ahead and change those things. We're going to go back into the dashboard, the dashboard of the home page. The first thing we're going to do is go to Posts. We're going to trash the Hello World post. We're going to click Add New. We're going to make a new welcome post. It's going to be welcome to whoops, start a blog in 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do, and you can also, before we get into posting too much, I mean, this is a basic tutorial on how to start a blog in 20 minutes. There's a lot of complicated stuff we can do, and I'll, I'll do a lot more tutorials on that. Um, here, if you want to add a new category for the posts to go in, we will we'll just do welcome posts, or just welcome, we'll do add category, and we'll click publish, and we'll go back to the home page, refresh by clicking on the logo area, and this is the first post. If you click on it, it will take you to <clears throat> the first post. Second thing that you want to do is, if you notice in the URL bar, it says uh, it's a PHP symbol question, page equals five. We want to change that permalink structure, so we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to permalinks, and we're going to click on post name. I don't like any of these others because it puts a, a generic, or it puts a year and a month in the URL structure, and I don't like that. I would advise against it. Post name, click save changes, Go back, hit refresh, and now all of a sudden we get rid of that and it's clean. It says, welcome to start a blog in 20 minutes. So we are set to go with that. Let's go back here. Let's go to discussion. These are a few tweaks that I like to do. Uh, again, I've had a lot of experience. You might like some of these features. Personally, I do not. Uh, I don't want to receive an email whenever anyone posts a comment, and I don't want to receive an email when it's uh, held for moderation. I do select this. Comments must be manually approved. I don't want any of those auto poster spam bots to be posting comments on a new blog of mine. And then you have options up here where users must be registered and log in to comment. That will pretty much prevent anyone from commenting on your site if you have closed registration. So we'll leave the rest of those the way they are. Click Save Changes. Go to the Reading tab. If you're using a theme where it has a static front page, you can select that here. Uh, we're not doing that, so it's going to have a continue, uh, continuous post loop, so we will leave that alone. The Writing tab, if you want to be able to uh, forward posts from your email and have them automatically posted on the blog, you can set that up here. We won't do any of that. And then here, we just want to make sure that our tagline gets changed. It's not just another Word, WordPress site. It is WordPress Tutorials, tutorials for starting a blog. And then email address. You want to make sure that this is an email that you can actually receive. If you forget your password and you want to reset your backend um, password, you'll do that with that email address. So you want to make sure that's correct. Typically, that's populated by default. Um, for some reason, in this case, it's not. So we have no plugins. We have a theme, and we have our first post. Now what we're going to do is go to Pages, we're going to trash this page, we're going to click Add New, we're going to do About, and just click Publish real quick, I just want to build out the framework, we're going to click Add New again, we're going to click Contact, click Publish, we're going to click Add New, we're going to click we're going to add blog, click publish, and click add new, we'll add services, 
this is just a, a demo mock-up. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be all kinds of people watching this tutorial, so they might want to do a bunch of different... Um, we'll do... The needs of, of many different people is going to vary greatly, so we're just going to throw a bunch of stuff here, and we're going to refresh. Now we've got About, Blog, Contact, Portfolio, and Services, and we're going to go to Appearance and Menus. Uh, from there, we are going to create a new menu. We're going to call it Main Menu. We're going to click Create. We're going to go to Manage Locations. We're going to click Main Menu for the Prime Menu. Click Save. Go back to Edit Menus. And then we will select all of these. Click Add to Menu. And then I want to restructure them. I want it to be About. I want it to be Services in this order. I want it to be portfolio, and then I want it to be blog, and then I want it to be contact. And I'll click save. And then you'll see these will change based on how we order that. So it's very, very easy to use. So then what we're going to do is go back to settings. We're going to go back to writing. This is what I I'm sorry, reading. This is what I mentioned earlier. We're going to click static page for the front. Whoops, we didn't do a static page. I messed up there. Let's go back to this. We'll go home. We're going to click Publish, and let's go back to Reading. There we go. Now we'll have the home page, and then our blog post will be on Blog, and we'll click Save. So now we're going to update. we got a home page. We've got an About page. Actually, I should probably populate this with something so that you can see it. Uh, let's go to About and click Edit. We'll just add some text, and this is a standard WYSIWYG editor like Microsoft Word. All you'll want to do is um, expand this here, and you'll get all the functions. you got underlined colors, anything you want. So we'll do about us. This is our history. Uh, You know, you get the idea. That'll be an about page. You just click update, and it's that easy to populate your uh, pages. So, the other thing I want to do is go back to menus. It's a good idea to have a home button. So, we're going to go to menus and just click on home and click add to menu, and then we'll move it to the very top. And that'll be obviously the one at the forefront. So, then refresh the page, and it's going to be home now, about. And you'll see what we just did. It's very easy to add an image. If you want to go back and do that, go to About, click on Add Media, click on Upload Files, and I don't know what this is, but we'll, we'll just try it. How to start a blog, my dog. Oh, perfect. This is perfect. So this is going to be a really big image. This is for something else. We are going to change the size, if it even uploads. It's very, very, very large might take a minute. Usually uh, images that you want to use for your blog are 1,000, 2,000 pixels in width max. And this is probably double, triple, quadruple that. It is a 300 dpi image that's used for print. Um, so this is taking a little bit longer than normal. Let's go up with the files. Let's find something else. Uh, let's go to the images. We'll do 480 by 850. These are just images that I have for other stuff. How about this one? Let's go... Here we go. Oh, this one's uploaded. Fine. Medium. And then we will align the right. And click insert into page. And we'll click update. Refresh. Now you have images in your, in your page. We'll get rid of that one. Click update. All I want is the one. Refresh. So now you have an image. It's that easy to, to build out these pages. So next, we're going to go to services, and you would do the same thing as about. You would go back to pages, and you go to services. And just like using Microsoft Word, you use the WYSIWYG editor. We'll do bullet points. We'll do service one, service two, service three, and on and on. You can build this out however you want. You can use examples of your work. You can refresh this page, and that will be there. We're going to go to portfolio. I'm going to show you how to, I don't have any small images ready for this either. We're going to put a gallery in here. So we'll go to Create Gallery, Select Files, 
And then what we want to do, I'll use some smaller ones so that they're quicker to upload here. These are just some stock photos that I have. Um, I don't know if that's the right amount. Just click upload. It'll automatically upload all of your images. These are images for something else. We'll probably change these later. So if you come back and reference the, you know, starting start a blog in 20.com forward slash portfolio, it'll have different images on there. But I want to show you how to create a gallery uh, that's easy to use. So once those are all uploaded and have a check mark next to them, we'll just click create new gallery. And you get an option here if you want to link to attachment page or media file. We're going to leave it to attachment page so you see how it works. And then the columns, how many images we have there? One, two, we have an odd number of images, so it's not going to work. It'll be random order, so every time you refresh the page, it changes the order of the images. The size is going to be thumbnail. And then we're going to insert gallery. And then we're going to update. And we go back here, refresh the page, and we have a gallery. Now, what you'll see here is the difference between an attachment page. It takes you to a page where this is uploaded, and then you click on it again to go to the raw image in the white box. So, the way that you can change that is to come back to the page, click on edit, go back here and click media file, and then we can also make these bigger. So we'll update gallery, update the page, go back, refresh, and you're all set. See how they're bigger. And then also it'll go straight to the light box instead of to the attachment page. This is a little bit cleaner and I prefer it this way, so we'll leave it like that. Now, since we have a home page, our home page can consist on, now this is a way that you can use the blog or the, the WordPress CMS as both a blog and a traditional website. You could use this as a local business site. Obviously, we would choose a different theme. Uh, you can use this uh, for a blog. You don't set up a home page. You would just use the blog page uh, for wherever you want. So we're going to add some media. We're going to use this. We'll do left. Insert that. Welcome to start a blog in 20 minutes. So we'll update that. <clears throat> we'll go back. Sorry, my voice is getting scratchy. Now you have a home page. Obviously, you want it to look a lot better than this, and we can cover this in detail in, in other tutorials. Uh, but this is the basic structure. And then just for just to give you a complete overview, let's add a new post. Let's just go post number two, new blog. And we'll put that in welcome category, and we'll click publish. So the reason why I did that is so that when you go to the blog page now, you'll see a series of the post loops. And the next thing that I didn't show you is you want to set a featured image on every post. So if you do that, set featured image, update, go back to posts, go to the welcome post, set featured image, and we'll just click the first one, set featured image, and then update. You always have to update anytime you make changes to a post or page in the back end. So we'll go, oops, Go back to the blog page, and now you have featured images. So if there was a lot of text here, this would just be a truncated excerpt version. So you would click on this, and that will take you to the actual post. The featured image goes away, unless you have something embedded into a post. And this is also theme dependent. The other thing with this theme is, oh, excuse me, widgets. We want to go to... We want to get rid of all these header widgets, and I'll show you why. It's messing up the way the site looks. Refresh the page, and it'll get rid of all this stuff. You should have your tagline here, and then a nice search box. That's all we really need. We want it to be super clean. Um, there's all types of other widgets. These go in the footer, which will put boxes down here. I'll cover all this advanced stuff in a, in a future tutorial. Uh, well, not advanced. This isn't really advanced, but we can get pretty, pretty technical with what we can do. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you're off and running, and I hope you're really excited about your new blog, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please go to cleverleverage.com, and go to, if you scroll to the bottom, click on the contact page. Please leave some feedback here and tell me 
what the next tutorial is that you'd like to see. Just say, hey Matt, I'd love, Matty, I'd love to see a tutorial on whatever you want to see. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, check out the how-to section. There's going to be tons more tutorials in here. And I will post some specific tutorials on what to do next to take you from a basic blog layout to a really polished website like mine. Um, if you go to cleverleverage.com on the homepage and you see the, you know, a custom theme and stuff like that, I'll show you where to buy these, how to set it up. I'll even put together a tutorial. We're going to do a WordPress resources area where we'll cover themes, plugins, and hosting. And in the theme section, I'll show you exactly where to get the theme that I use, the Clever theme. And then there will be a tutorial that shows you exactly how to build a blog just like mine if you want to do that. Now that you got your feet wet, uh, it doesn't make any difference. You don't have to start with a, a more complicated tutorial in the beginning. You just want to get your domain and hosting set up. And then it's as simple as I show you where to buy a theme. I show you how to set it up. You just click Add New. And then we will upload uh, one that will upload the Clever theme, basically. And I'll show you how to do that. So I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you'd like to see next. Thanks a lot.